Good afternoon and welcome to the Montage Cheese Gallery here at The Loft. We have over 100, 150 cheeses at any given time and we also have accompaniments and honeys. We have a little sub honey gallery with about 100 different honeys from 38 to 40 different countries right now and different flavor profiles of the honey and the accoutrements that we create um, accent all the different cheeses that are in the gallery. We will come to each person's table, listen to their flavor profile, their definite cheese experience, and what they're looking for in experience, and we will bring a cheese plate to them unique to their table. And a great cheese is one that has many different profiles, just like a good wine. You don't want a one-note Susan, so to speak. Pairing these things, it's just, it comes to you when you taste the cheese. Um, we had a beautiful Tom de Creus and is a gorgeous, gorgeous French cheese up from the Savoie area. And when you smell on this, oh, I can smell it right through the wrapper even. Um, it smells like um, saltine crackers. And it tastes like that too. And so what goes with saltine crackers? Chicken noodle soup, you know? So we took a mirepoix of carrots, onions, celery, and so forth, and dice it up in a little brinois, and then um, put it with chicken stock beautiful chicken stock, a little gelatin, and then when we put it with this, every guest we serve it to, when they put it in their mouth, they go, oh my gosh, it's like Thanksgiving. And I go, yes, but the cheese is the predominant flavor. Blue cheese tends to love dark berries. Um, we'll put dark berries, maybe some honeycomb with it. it, likes honey as well. People that aren't so used to blue cheeses, we'll tell them, try it with a little honey, and we might match different honey flavors with the different blues. And we'll say, try with it, because it'll soften it enough to take the bite off, but still leave all those beautiful flavors of the blue so they can enjoy it. And they become blue lovers, kind of through the back door. Um, we'll do a beautiful goat's milk cheese that has herbs on it, and a, a tarragon chev from France that's called Topinier, and we've made a strawberry lavender reduction that'll pick up on that. Well, I should say another one. Beautiful goat's milk from Texas called Hoya Santa, and it's wrapped in a Hoya Santa leaf, which is like this big, and they've taken it and they've dunked it in a um, plum brandy to keep it supple, and they've wrapped a little chev in it, and when we cut it, it tastes of sassafras or root beer. So another thing that we do off these beautiful red grapes, we make our own raisins and then we marinate them in vanilla cognac for months. And when they put that together with that little chef, beautiful, beautiful root beer float just going on in your mouth. Our sommelier works right next to us and they know almost as much about cheese as I do and we'll go back and forth and we'll say okay if this great Sauterne is going to go with this we've got some great you know Chenin Blanc that's going to really show off those goat's milk and they'll say do you have this in season right now and I'll say oh yes or an ice wine or you know Gavarch demeanors with the, some of our sweeter honeys we love pairing great port with some of our stronger maybe our you know great caramelized goudas here a lovely port with that so we work as a team, as we do in just about every other area in the montage, to bring the best experience to our guests we can.